Hey, many fish. It is still July 11th, 2017. And I'm showing you uh, one of the pages on my website. I don't know if I've ever shared with you guys exactly what I do, but I do uh, custom ironwork, uh, gates and bronze and brass and sculpture and blacksmith work, pretty much, you could call it. But um, I don't get a lot of work inquiries through my website. It's pretty much all word of mouth, but I got an inquiry on 7-7. And the inquiry was for antique iron repair. And I have an antique piece of iron art that needs repair. Do you do that sort of thing? And I replied to him, yes, but I need to see the piece in order to estimate it. So he replied with, picture below, the star goes on the top. In this image he sent... I mean, folks, this is just beyond supernatural. I'm sorry, but it is. It's a bronze menorah, or brass, one of the two, with the double-headed lion and the ninth holder, the Star of David, broken off. There is so much to say about this image right here, I can't even begin to tell you. Now, if you don't know much or anything about the menorah, it's a lamp, basically, candle holder, uh, candelabra, and it has eight for each day of Hanukkah. You light each candle for each day with the ninth candle, the shamash, the helper or servant. It's the candle that's used to light all the other candles. And used as an extra light. To be kosher, shamash must be offset on a higher or lower plane than the other candles. Well, the shamash, the helper, is broken. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. The helper is broken. For you Jews, any of you Jews that might be listening, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. You know that we have a national menorah, and there the largest menorah is put up in New York City in the Bronx. And look where it's put up, at the Soldier's Memorial. Look at this arch, you guys. This is just insane. It's got the Roman chariots, the double eagles, the triumphal arch. You've got to be kidding me. I'll tell you, man... I'm, I'm not kidding you. As God is my witness, this is all straight up and up. No lie. I'm telling you, there's beginning today something. I do not know what, you guys. I just don't. I don't know what, but there is some hardcore stuff coming down, and it seems to me it's the Jews that are going to feel the hit the most. And for the rest of us, uh, you know, just get right with God. Get up tight and close with Jesus. I'm telling you right now, now is the time for repentance and for just prayer, prayer, prayer. This is critical. I'm just telling you. And there's so much more that I have to show you. But this is just the latest in this crazy string of things that are coming. And I must show you. I have to get this stuff out there. We'll talk to you later. Peace and grace, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 